Hello everyone, TechFairy here, with the third in a series of video tutorials on the basics of iMovie 10 for Yosemite. In the previous tutorial, I went over how to manipulate video clips and move them into the timeline. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit clips in the timeline. The first way to edit clips is to adjust their length. As you can see by the small box in the upper right hand corner, this clip is about 7 seconds long. I'm going to insert the whole clip into the timeline and then play around with it. To adjust the length of a clip, move the cursor to either edge of the clip in the timeline. A small bar and arrows tooltip will appear. Simply click and drag to trim or extend the clip. You can see that the last few seconds of the clip have been removed, but that the rest of the clip is unaffected. To undo a change in length, or any other change, click Edit, Undo, or use the hotkey Command Z. Also note that you can't extend a clip beyond its original length, since there would be no footage to display. Another way to adjust your clips is to change the speed at which they play. Click on the clip you want to adjust and then click the speedometer icon above the preview window, followed by the drop-down menu marked Speed. As I go through the different options, pay attention to what happens to the clip in the timeline. Slow allows you to slow your clip down to half, a quarter, or even a tenth of its original speed. Fast does the reverse, allowing you to speed the clip up by a factor of 2, 4, 8, or even 20. Custom allows you to choose speeds more precisely, by choosing a percentage of the original speed. To confirm a new custom speed, type the speed you want and press return on your keyboard. When a clip has been speed adjusted, an icon will overlay it on the timeline, showing whether it has been slowed down or sped up from the original. The turtle represents a slowed down clip, while a sped up clip is identified by a rabbit. In addition, a slider along the top of the clip allows you to adjust the speed with a single click and drag. This is especially useful for lining clips up exactly with other media. iMovie features plenty of other tutorials to help you adjust your clips, but we don't have time to go over all of them. I encourage you to play around with the available tools and discover how they work for yourself. If you want me to explain another tool, leave a comment and I may do a follow-up episode. Now you've learned how to edit clips in the timeline. In the next tutorial, I'll go over adding pictures to iMovie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.